Hi, I'm Donald Brennan. This is one of my favorite places in New York, Brooklyn. From its brownstones to beautiful parks. I know the borough inside and out. From new development to resales to my neighborhood picks. So grab a smartphone or a pad and pen while I share my two cents. Crown Heights, in many ways, is still a tale of two neighborhoods. One that's been gentrified and one that is still up and coming. These days, more than ever before, new hip boutiques and restaurants are dotting their streets. One such place that's getting its share of attention is a bakery slash bar known as Butter and Scotch. Let's go inside and see what it's all about. I'm Donald Brennan of Brennan Real Estate. Hi, Allison Kay. Welcome to Butter and Scotch. Nice to meet you, Allison. You too. Let me give you a little tour. Follow Sounds me. good. If you like a great cocktail and don't pass when it comes to delicious old-fashioned desserts, you're in for a decadent treat. Once inside this colorful bar bakery known as Butter and Scotch. I love the name Butter and Scotch. How'd Thank you. Come you. up with it. Uh, it was actually my business partner, Kevy. Uh, we wanted to come up with something that really gave equal weight to the bar and bakery sides of the business, and we're kind of racking our brains. And then one morning, she gave me a call and said, "Had this idea. It could be a placeholder." And I heard it. And I was like, they're, it's the perfect name. Like, there could be nothing better. So as far as the concept goes, how'd you come up with the idea of a bar and a bakery? Well, we were both wanting to open a brick and mortar. We didn't really want just like a traditional bakery. And I had been moonlighting as a bartender for about 10 years uh, when I had my pie company previously. And so I had a real passion for cocktails and just bar culture in general. We both like a drink. Uh, and so we just started thinking and realizing that there really wasn't anywhere in New York that we knew of where you could go and get a really well-made craft cocktail, a really well-made sort of rustic dessert in a really casual environment. You know, there are places that serve sort of more formal plated pairings, and that's not really what we do. It's a lot more just about what you want. The result, simply delicious, with baking taking place on the premises throughout the day. There's always something delicious in the oven. But the beauty behind the concept, one can also taste a well-crafted cocktail. Uh, do you want to see a menu? Sure, let's take oh, a look. Yeah. Do you want to try something? Um, tell me about Jump in the Line. Sure, yeah, that's one of mine. It's got this really delicious pineapple rum, mm -hmm. so it's infused with pineapple. Sure. Um, it's a little bit of like a riff on a French 75, but using that pineapple rum and some lime and some honey, and then it's topped with a little bit of kava. So it's really sort of bubbly and light and sure. rummy and delicious. Yeah, yeah. It sounds delicious. Let's, let's give that a try. Yeah, sure thing. One Jump in the Line coming up. Thank you. I've been doing this for a little while. <laughs> Give it some fancy kind of island garnish for you there. Beautiful. And there she is, jumping the line. Cheers. That's beautiful. Thank you. Enjoy. Give it a try. That's delicious. Thank you. So Allison, what made you and your business partner decide on Crown Heights as a location to open up your business? We just wanted a place that would be easy to get to, that wasn't super expensive, super saturated. You know, we're a, a fledgling startup, so we had to be able to pay the rent, and yeah. it was the perfect location. How do you see the neighborhood transforming in the near term? Uh, you know, as it grows, I really hope that more small businesses come in. You know, there are a lot of empty storefronts that could absolutely be taken over. But I'm hoping it's, you know, not all these franchises sure. and yep. really like small individual owned businesses that really serve the community, which is what we're trying to do. Yeah. Can you talk about the future? Uh, what's next for Butter and Scotch and what's beyond? We have a cookbook coming out next fall in fall 2016. So really excited about that. We're sort of finalizing all the copy edits right now. And it's going to be um, both recipes for desserts and cocktails. So it's kind of like a day in the life here. Uh, that's really exciting. We're also really growing our wholesale business. So we do that a lot. We're selling across the country our cocktail caramel corns and also our pies. Uh, and yeah, I think, you know, we definitely are wanting to open a, another location or more. It's something that, that we're kind of looking into now. From emerging real estate markets to neighborhood eats and creatively driven entrepreneurs like the ladies behind Butter and Scott. Brooklyn neighborhoods like Crown Heights continue to attract those looking to take a chance and make their mark in Brooklyn. I'm Donald Brennan of Brennan Real Estate.